you will learn how to develop a questionnaire in Microsoft Word and the important part of the questionnaire. When developing the questionnaire format, keep in mind that questionnaires typically have three parts general instructions, personal information, and the body. Let's now practically show you in sample questionnaire. This is my sample questionnaire document. In this questionnaire, this section is called general instruction. First, you have to write the name of your university. The name of your faculty, like the Faculty of Management Sciences. Then write the name of your department, like the Department of Technology Management. Then you have to give the heading of the questionnaire. On the left side, you must insert the logo of your university. On the right side, you can insert the logo of your department, if any. Then you have to insert a box. In the box, you have to write your name and tell about the title of your research. Like my name is XYZ. I am conducting a survey on title of your proposal. I would be thankful if you fill out the questionnaire. The information you provide will be kept confidential and only be used to complete this research study. Data gathered will be presented in aggregate and no individual respondent or organization will be identified. That's all for the general instruction section. Now I will tell you about the personal information. This section is called personal information. Respondents have to provide personal information. Ask about the organization's name, name or primary key or ID card number. It must be unique. Education, experience of the current organization, total job experience, designation, gender male or female, then the age group greater than 20, between 20 to 30, between 31 to 40, between 41 to 50 or 51 and above. That's all for the personal information section. Now I will tell you about the body part of the questionnaire. This section is called the body part. This is my theoretical model. According to this model, I have to form my questionnaire. According to my model, first we will ask question about the independent variable. List down all the questions. For example, the questions may you strongly agree, agree. Participants can circle their responses. Every item should have an obvious place for each response. Let's now practically show you. Let's suppose my independent variable is interpersonal conflict. I will open the research paper from where I will use the items. This is the paper. Here you can see the items for interpersonal conflict. Copy these items, paste them. Likert scale questions assess whether or not a respondent agrees with the statement as well as the extent to which they agree or disagree. These questions typically offer 5 or 7 responses with sentiments ranging from items such as strongly disagree or strongly agree. I am done with listing items for independent variable. According to my model, second comes the moderator. Ask questions about the moderator. List down all the questions. For example, the questions may you strongly agree, agree. Participants can circle their responses. Every item should have an obvious place for each response. Let's now practically show you. Suppose my moderator is withdrawal. I will open the research paper from where I will use the items. This is the paper. Here you can see the items for withdrawal. Copy these items, paste them. I am done with listing items for my first moderator. According to my model, third comes the mediator. Ask questions about the mediator. List down all the questions. For example, the questions may you strongly agree, agree. Participants can circle their responses. Every item should have an obvious place for each response. List all the items for your mediator like I have showed you before. According to my model, fourth comes the second moderator, if any. Ask questions about the second moderator. List down all the questions. For example, the questions may use strongly agree, agree. Participants can circle their responses. Every item should have an obvious place for each response. List all the items for your second moderator. 
according to my model fifth comes the dependent variable ask questions about the dependent variable list down all the questions for example the questions may you strongly agree agree participants can circle their responses every item should have an obvious place for each response list all the items for your independent variable that's all for the body of developing questionnaire i am done with showing you how to develop a questionnaire in microsoft word and also tell you about the important part of the questionnaire thank you for watching this video